Hi, child of God. This week, I want to talk to you about commitment, specifically full commitment, like not 90% commitment, not 99% commitment, full commitment, 100% commitment. How committed are you to the things that you are involved in? For example, how committed are you to your marriage? I mean, that would look as if, what kind of question is this? Of course, I'm committed to my marriage. But God is asking of us full commitment in this way. Full commitment. Are you fully committed at your place of work? Are you fully committed in your business? Are you fully committed to your spouse? Are you fully committed to your friends in whatever it is that you laid your hands to do, that you've involved yourself in? How committed are you? I want you to take time this week to just evaluate yourself because this is very, very important. Okay? It's very, very important, especially as Christians, as people that represent, you know, God and we're, we're standard bearers of God. How committed are you to the things that you have an opportunity to be a part of? See, I looked at the dictionary definition of commitment and it says that it is a state or quality of being dedicated to a cause. It is a state or quality of being dedicated to a cause. So I like the fact that dictionary defines it as a quality because another word for quality is virtue. So which means that you are virtuous, you have good qualities and one of your qualities as a Christian is commitment. You are fully committed to anything that you have an opportunity to do. So God is saying, search your heart this way. He's not asking for, for, from you a half-hearted uh, commitment. He's not asking for you uh, from you for one-tenth half-hearted commitment. He wants every, every part of your heart, okay? And the scripture that I want to encourage you with today is second chronicles chapter 16 verse 9 that says that the eyes of the lord goes to and fro the earth to show himself strong on behalf of those whose hearts are fully committed to him or another version i believe it a new king james version says that those whose hearts are loyal to him so the bible is equating your commitment to loyalty and your commitment to God is going to be evident in everything else to, that you do here on earth. Your commitment and loyalty to God is going to be evident in the way that you treat your marriage, the way that you treat your family, the way that you treat your friends, the way that you treat your colleagues, how you apply yourself to all the things that you have an opportunity to be a part of. The Bible says that God is searching. His eyes are roaming through throughout the earth, so and for the earth. And he wants to show himself strong on your behalf. He wants to show, prove himself that he is your strength. He wants to prove himself that he is your banner. He wants to prove himself that he is the one who upholds you with his right hand of righteousness. He wants to show himself in every circumstance. Child of God, God wants to prove himself in your life. But are you committed? Or is your half-heartedness blocking this? Is your half-heartedness not allowing you to enjoy the fullness of God? To enjoy Him showing Himself strong on your behalf? Because when you show you, you cannot be half Him, half you. It's either all the way Him or all the way you. So, but when God shows up in any situation that you may find yourself in and He finds that you are already avenging yourself, you are already taking matter into your own hands. You are already um, um, retaliating. You are already not committing to what you're supposed to be committed. You are already um, doing lip service. You are doing lip service. You are doing eye service. You say something, but you mean another thing. You are not fully committed to it. How is he going to show himself strong on your life, on your behalf? It's not that he doesn't want to show himself strong on your behalf. It doesn't, it doesn't, it's not because he is not on your side, but it is because that you have not allowed him. So my word of encouragement to you this week is to search your heart in everything that you do. Is your heart loyal to God? And as I said, it's not about you saying that you are loyal to God and then you are not loyal to other people. Your loyalty to God 
will ultimately be evident in the way you conduct yourself here on earth, in every affairs of your life, in everything that you do, at home, at work, in the society, your loyalty to God will be evident in those things. And God wants to prove himself strong on your behalf. So I pray for you this week in the name of Jesus, that as you go into this week, this word will be your watch word. That you will stand on the word of God that I am going to be fully committed. I am not going to do anything for God half-hearted. I am going to do it 100%. And I pray for you in Jesus' name that the Lord will give you the grace to be fully committed. Whatever it is that we want to come in, in, into your life and distract you or tempt you and lure you away from full commitment, that the Lord will deal with those things in Jesus' name. He will give you the grace to stand fully, to stand 100% in everything that you have that he has given you the opportunity to be a part of. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will be fully committed to your marriage. You will be fully committed to your children. You will be fully committed to the dreams and visions and the, and the ideas that God has given you. In the name of Jesus Christ, and the Lord will show himself strong on your behalf. He will show himself strong on your business. He will show himself strong in your family. He will show himself strong even in your health, in everything that concerns you this week. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Have a glorious week and remember to be fully committed, to be fully dedicated, to have that good quality of dedication to everything that you have an opportunity to be a part of. I look forward to seeing you again next week. Shalom.